everyone, welcome to another episode of LT Outdoors. Uh, today I'm actually heading out. It's been raining like crazy here in Michigan for the past, I don't know, three, four days at least. We've been getting a lot of rain, which is good. We need it. It's been really dry, uh, so it's, it's helping things grow. But we're going to be heading out to the woods because I got a feeling that the mushrooms are going to be going crazy right now. So hopefully they are. I'm hoping I can show you guys some different species that should be popping up right about now. So stay tuned. Should be a good episode, guys. Well, I'm pretty happy to see these. This is actually a coral mushroom. That's the first edible species that I've found today. They're pretty tasty. I've eaten a lot of coral mushrooms. Uh, they come in different colors, but yeah, that's a uh, edible species of mushroom. Make sure you read up on it first, though. There are some bad species. You just got to learn those before you decide to try and eat them, but you can obviously tell why it's called the coral mushroom. As you can see, it looks, looks like coral. <laughs> looks like coral you'd see in the ocean, but fry these puppies up in some butter, and yeah, they're darn good. <laughs> Got some more coral growing right along this piece here. It's all the way down here. Yeah, it looks nice. There's a bunch of different colors too. And I see over here a bunch of what appear to be those miniature oysters. Tough. I can't even can't even rip it apart. Well, yeah, I seen I've been seeing a lot of these growing around. Yeah, hoping to find chanterelles in that, but I don't think they're up right now, which really stinks because last year I was actually getting quite a few this time of year. But oh, keep on searching. Maybe we'll have to wait till a couple more weeks for chanterelles. Now I showed these ones before. They are real pretty after a rain. These are some fresh ones. Indian pipes. Yep, they look like little white flowers, but they're actually a form of fungus, and they are cool. I guess they uh, symbolize that there's great ground here. They only grow, I guess, in a forest floor that's got good nutrients and everything. Yeah, they're a pretty little thing, though. And they smell like peanut butter if you pick them and smell them. <laughs> I've been seeing a lot of these, and I had to do my research on them because they look like a oyster mushroom, but they're tiny and they're tough. And the pores are totally different on the back side here. It's actually a miniature um, oyster mushroom. <laughs> I can't remember the exact name, but that's that's pretty much what it is. And they're too tough to really eat. They're really hard, but they smell good. <laughs> now I thought this was pretty neat. I'm not sure what it is, and I can't, don't know if you can tell, but it looks like a foam ball. <laughs> yeah, it's weird. This is actually growing inside of a, uh, appears to be a squirrel hole. Yeah, it's right in the center of the squirrel hole. I ain't never seen anything like that before. Just never know what you're going to find in the woods. All right, I'm really excited about this, guys, because this is this is exactly what I've been looking for for the past couple weeks, and I'm glad to see that they're starting. This right here is a golden chanterelle. Hard to mistake because they've got these beautiful veins that go all the way up the gills. Yep, golden chanterelle. This is excellent eating. It smells great. Yeah, this is a, a really good mushroom. I cook a lot of these up. They're good in all kinds of dishes. So, yeah, this might be an exciting episode, guys, because it looks like normally if there's one, there's a bunch more. And you always want to keep your eyes out and remember where you found them because um, they like to grow in the same areas. So, yeah, very cool. Golden chanterelle. Excellent eating mushroom. Now, this mushroom right here, 
is going to be a new one for me. I've never tried it. I tried the painted Belit last year, and I didn't like the taste. But this one here, I believe to be the King Belit. And if it is the King Belit, then it's supposed to be really good eating. So we'll see what it looks like underneath. Yep. It's got that... The, the Belit family has a spongy feel to it. I mean, you can see that it almost looks like a sponge. Uh, I didn't like the painted Belit. I just didn't like the flavor. But I've heard great things about these ones. The stock looks to be from the King Belit. It's got the chain-like stripes going up the length. So, yeah, I'm going to give this a go. It's always safe to research first, but I'm comfortable enough knowing that it's a bleat, and I'm going to try it. It's always good to try one mushroom, you know, just a small piece first, and make sure it settles in your stomach well, because even though a mushroom's edible, it's not always for everyone. Everybody's got different stomachs and can handle different things, but yeah, king bleat, I'm pretty positive on that, so I'll check out more when I get home, but cool find. Okay, now this, this mushroom right here, I'm actually not going to pick today because I have no use for it right now. But if you look at this tree, this is a birch tree. You can always tell a birch tree by this right here, the birch bark. This is what the Indians used to make uh, canoes out of and such. Native Americans, I should say. Um, I actually have a friend that still makes those out of uh, birch bark. But right there is actually what is known as the chaga mushroom. For those that haven't heard of it before, it's a medicinal mushroom. It's actually not really a mushroom as much as it is just a growth off the tree. But you can cut chunks of this off. It, it'll continue to grow back, but you, you can cut chunks of it and uh, you can actually make it into a tea. Um, I believe you just soak it in a, in a tea jar with hot water. I'm not sure, you'd have to look it up. I haven't tried it, my mother did some because it's supposed to help with um, cancer. It's supposed to be somewhat of a cancer curing agent. You can see a chunk came off the tree right there. But yeah, it's just a really hard growth, but this right here will make a good tea. It's supposed to be good for you. All kinds of healthy factors with the chaga mushroom, so I recommend looking it up. Very cool. Now here's a couple nice young king bleats. This is more of a better image of what I've read on them. Yep, the top and bottom are both thick. And see underneath they got that nice, nice little webby bottom on them. Yep, very cool. Those are beautiful. So they'll be coming back with me, see if they're tasty. Now these are very hard to see, try not to shadow them, because these are so tiny, but these are actually baby cinnabar chanterelles. So, yep, these are starting to come up. I've seen some more right up here. They tend to grow, I find them right in the middle of the trails that I walk. They grow in nice little patches along the trails. Yep, and, uh, I really hate picking them when they're this young, but just to show you, underneath, they've got gills that run all the way. Yeah, it's really hard to see. They're so tiny. <laughs> I shouldn't have picked that. But they've, they've got the gills, just like that golden chanterelle that'll run all the way up the bottom. And they are just as good eating. I love them. So, yep, they're starting. Should be picking them soon. Used to be lots of toads. That's good though. So you can go ahead and catch all the bugs. Yeah, I got a couple more small ones right here. And these should be good and tender. And they hopefully haven't got all buggy yet. No, nope, a little bit, but not too bad. Like I said, you can see clearly underneath on these bleats, they all have that spongy, spongy bottom. Looks just like a sponge. Feels like a sponge too. 
And that's part of what I didn't like about the painted bleed. I didn't like the spongy sponginess when I chewed. So, I don't know. Hopefully these ones will be better from what I've read on they are. But we'll see. <laughs> now this is a cool mushroom I see every year. Um, I haven't properly ID'd it yet, so I haven't picked it. But, yeah, that's. I just think it's a really cool mushroom. Pretty sure it's an edible, but I, I like to read up on everything before I actually pick them. Should have looked in front of me, could have checked both sides. Little look behind me, hit me right between my eyes, take me down. Every time I fall in love, it's got to be such a long way down. 